everybody I'm coming at you from the spare room because my actual bedroom looks like a tornado has hit it but today is a really exciting day I mean aren't they all I swear every time I start a vlog I say that but today I am really looking forward to what we have in store I am going to Paris with the girls and I honestly cannot wait I feel like we need some girly TLC time and I don't know how much of this I will get to vlog because things could get wild things could get a bit chaotic but I'm hoping to bring you with me for at least a little bit of the trip and I thought I'd start off by showing you my travel outfit of the day so we have my mango camel coat a skims oh we need to cut those off oh a skims <laughs> vest top adenola leggings i promised amelia i would wear leggings and we would be traveling in comfort and then then my all saints boots i've got my away case wire cell bag complete with the lily silk knit hoodie because i know i'm gonna get cold and then i've got monica vinader earrings aurelia huggies monica vinader ring an astrid and me ring engagement ring the normal shebang. That is my travel outfit of the day. Let's go, let's go to Paris. I have arrived. I'm gonna get some water, something to eat, and then I'm gonna go find Amelia. Not me buying all the snacks in preparation for the lack of dairy free in Paris. Hello. We're waiting for our train. She's forgiven me for scaring the crap out of her. <laughs> Just for a split second. You look so cute today. This little Adenola puffer. I need it. I've always wanted like a puffer jeans thing. Mm. It's perfect. I will be buying. Pilates mum vibes. But in the best way. Also, look how cute this is. He's so cute. He's so, he He's actually so makes cute. me so happy. <laughs> You just wake up and you see him and you're like, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Here we go. Taking a ride, I'm in Paris. Bonjour. <laughs> right, we need to get an Uber. We need to go and find our third wheel. Where is she? So Vic has been here working today and we're meeting her out here. So we need to go and locate her check into the hotel get ready for dinner we're on our way to the hotel are you excited i'm actually just in a bit of shock that we're actually doing this like the calendar's aligned we talk about doing this kind of thing all the time but like we're actually on it now we're actually doing it we're actually here my jaw was on the floor when the calendar's aligned yeah Unreal. it was like is this too good to be true <laughs> i mean there's still time i know, I know. <laughs> still time <laughs> Is this too good to be true? This could go really wrong. But this is the kind of thing we literally always like show. Oh, it'd be so nice if we all like did. The We're doing it. We're finally doing it. C credit to Susie because, I mean, like really, this was like you. You lit the fire. This was my my brainchild. Yeah. And then I coordinated the, the calendars. Yeah. You did the trains. Slayed the trains. Victoria's just slaying the hotel. <laughs> No, train like doing the booking like gives me anxiety for like the logistics. Yeah, it's like, and also the time difference and the thing. Anyway, yeah. we're here Ooh. and it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. Oh, do you know what else is gonna be epic? Amelia yeah. has told me she has five outfit options. No, 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 three. Three. Sorry. So she three. originally packed she was five. going to pack five. And I unpacked two. Very restrained of you. <laughs> I'm restrained. I'm so excited to see them because the outfits. If you haven't seen the what is it your 12 days of christmas outfits the outfits have been i didn't pack anything glittery did i no i didn't pack anything glittery because i saw you in vic's outfits and i was like okay i need to match okay, those yeah. they're going for like chic wire cell vibes so i was like okay i'm not going to turn up like a total disco ball but we love you as a disco ball we look hot <laughs> as a disco ball but yeah i'm excited to see them so we'll check in with you when we get to the hotel <laughs> Let there be light. 
<laughs> there's a ghost. I'm not. Do and there's a ghost. Oh my god. Look at me. This is how people die. Oh my god. I thought that was gonna be the end of us. <laughs> I was like, I was stage lighting and then I realized it was over. Maybe you did it on the remote. Yeah. Well, it's a very sexy remote. I just fixed Susie's settings. Sound of the underground. Woo! Give it to me, girl. Oh my God, get low. I feel sorry for everyone having to listen to my singing. We just got plunged into darkness. You guys, I need to give you the most epic room tour i feel bad because we're probably gonna mess the room up and vic's not even here to like mess it up along with us yet but look <laughs> this is insane so we have our own shroom honestly this is the upgrade of a lifetime we have our own shroom we're staying at les maurice i've stayed here before some of you might remember probably about eight years ago now the time when i bought my first chanel bag i will link the vlog if if you're new or you just want to go back and be nostalgic, I will link the vlog because this is like that part too. But we have the most insane junior suite at Les Maurice. Look at this. Me and Amelia have already fully started making ourselves at home. We've got a little seven dwarfs bed. One of us is getting that. Hello. Hi. How are you? Look at this wallpaper. It's so stunning. And then we've got double doors that come into our living space. Bigger bed. Nice big living area, full mini bar. This is stunning. I actually do need to pee. I just said I'm peeing. I actually am about to pee <laughs> out of necessity. <laughs> okay, so before Amelia pees, let me show you the bathroom. How incredible is this? This is unreal. <laughs> this is honestly, this is the dream girls' trip. This is epic. This is actually like Crazy. This is so I can't fun. believe we actually do. So I need to stop saying that. It's really <laughs> right now. Honestly, this is unreal. So we're gonna get ready now, have a little dance. We've already started. Like I think we're gonna be I'm worn out. You. Yeah, I'm so. <laughs> we're so unfit. <laughs> we need to go to the gym. <laughs> We're gonna be worn out before Victoria even gets here. She's in the spa at the moment. We need to get ready for our girls' night out. I'm so excited. Good. Oh, thanks. Oh, hi. Hi. Seeing <laughs> you here. Like, well on, like you know, you just got a bit of a malfunction situ. No, you look great. I completely forgot to show you my outfit. So this is a very quick little outfit of the evening. I've got a mango dress on, tights, Jimmy Choo shoes, my Valentino bag, and then a mango coat to stop me from freezing. My cos earrings. Amelia has kindly let me borrow a necklace because I didn't bring one. And then my jewelry is the same as earlier. And then I've got a little swishy pony top. Oh my God, all of the lights. This is so cute. Here's where we're going for dinner. Stunning. We are here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Thank you. Go on. Go on, girl. Oh, yeah, that's sexual. That is hot. Oh, yeah. This looks incredible. Oh, thank you. Not Vic with this. <laughs> no, not Vic's suit. Woo! Yes, the fries. Oh, my goodness. Oh, stunning. I love it here. I love it here. The floating fries. <laughs> Good morning. I'm actually 
actually feeling surprisingly fresh after, I'm putting my boots on by the way, I'm feeling surprisingly fresh after all of those drinks last night. I woke up at 7.30 thanks to the barley jet lag, which is basically 6.30 back home, so perfectly on time, even though we went to bed so late. So the girls have just gone down to breakfast. I am just running a little bit behind. Just need to throw a few more things in my suitcase and I'll run down and join them. I think I'm going to send my coffee order ahead of time, so hopefully it'll be there when I get down there. Wish I'd bought like a something shirt i don't know but basically ready the bathroom is not giving ready wow we are still alive and thriving in here but i'm wearing my skims best top i brought two of these in the exact same color i just wanted a fresh one colin cooper jeans my all saints boots i have stuart weisman boots to change into when i get back into london because i'm going for dinner with my friend before i go home i oh there's a funny little bit there that's not ideal. I have gone for a ponytail again because it is peeing it down. And then I've got Monica Veneta hoop earrings in and my Astrid and Me earring and my Monica Veneta ring. And today, I think I'm going to wear, sorry, excuse all of my mess. Is it this? Yeah, I'm gonna wear my mango. Is this my one? No way. Oh my God, we have too many identical coats. My black coat that looks like that is somewhere around here. Is this the one? Is this my? Oh yeah, there we go. There's my coat. I'm going to wear my black mango coat today. Okay, we're throwing on a jumper as well, just so I feel a little bit less like bare and it feels a bit more like an outfit. I'm just gonna throw some lipstick on and then we will go down to breakfast. But this has honestly been the best trip. I have had so much fun. We're already talking about doing more of them in like different locations or come and go out to Paris because obviously it's nice and easy to get to. And you can be sure I will be following up on that idea because this is something that I've kind of promised myself that I want to do more of, especially like before I have kids. I say this, I need to stop saying stuff like this publicly because I talk so openly about having kids. I don't know, maybe I should stop this. I have been asked four times this week in person by people that know me if i'm pregnant i've also had it commented multiple times online which by the way can we talk about this because in the run-up to my wedding i do not plan on having a child and getting married in the same year it's just not it's not going to happen but yeah i just if we could just like allow me to be bloated online and if we if we are someone that's seeing me in person and i'm not drinking or if i say in a vlog that i'm not drinking can we just I, I'm very selective over when I like to consume my margaritas and my Palomas and my g and I'm very selective. Like I want it to be a worthwhile occasion if I am going to drink. Like the hangovers post 30, they are the, they are the pits. They are something else. And if I'm going to drink, I want it to be worthwhile. I want it, I don't want to drink at like every single thing that I turn up to, especially if it's like work things. But honestly, the amount of times that I've been asked if I'm pregnant this week, is too much I, I i just i just can't if we could just normalize not drinking normalize being bloated because one thing that i love to do on instagram like if i'm wearing a bikini and the photo is cute i don't care i don't care if i blow like i was on my period when i was in bali and i get really bloated when i'm on my period and it's just like can we just can we just give me some some time and some space to be not be pregnant that would be really lovely if we could just all just have a think about what we're asking people. Like if you're seeing someone that's not drinking, maybe they just don't like the alcohol at that event. Like I don't like champagne. I don't want to drink champagne all the time. I'm very selective over what kind of alcohol I like to consume. Very specific girl, I like a spicy margarita, you know? So anyway, that was a real tangent, but this is the kind of stuff that I do want to do more of before I have kids. Like I just, you know, when you know that it's kind of gonna come at some point, like if we are lucky enough, it's gonna be a thing, it's gonna happen. And I just want to like really soak in all of the like fun, spontaneous experiences in whatever way that comes, whether it's just like a random trip with Ryan, whether it's just like going to the pub on like a Tuesday night, like just all the spontaneous things. I want to just do more of it. So I'm really happy that we managed to make this work. And the calendar's aligned, which is just honestly never, ever, ever happens. But anyway, Amelia's texting me. She's cold. She wants her blazer. So let's go. Oh my God. We're being forced to eat croissants. Vic was like, no, 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 we, we don't need an extra one. We can 
lunch there? They were like, no. <laughs> Ayel in her element. <laughs> She's obsessed. We love it. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Wow. Thank you. We've been let loose without Victoria. <laughs> you know what that means? You know what that means? We're going and gonna do a little shop. Just a little shop. We're going to Chanel. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping. I've actually never been in this entrance, but let's see. This is back here. Oh my god, this is so cute. We're in Celine. How gorgeous are these shoes? I'm obsessed. Oh, uh, yes. I I need these. They would look so, so nice with like a little black dress. Pair of tights. Cute. We love. I really like that. Yeah. This coat's nice too. Their coats are really a sleigh. Yeah. Wow. Also, it's on maximum duty. <laughs> yeah, which I mean, she said it first. Amelia's speed has just increased. It's doubled because we've got a text about our Chanel appointment. But also, look at what you've been up to. Do you feel something? You know, dopamine is nice. <laughs> 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 I haven't wanted these shoes for such a long time. They are it good shoes. It's fifty pounds cheaper here, I so the planet because I didn't do. Like, You're I not getting them delivered. DHL. Yeah, no courier. Well so, done, and saved so yourself some money. <laughs> well done, well done, babe. Well <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm struggling to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I think I just had the best couple of days of my life. It was just so fun and so light and so like, I don't know, carefree and like, I could not have asked for a better few days with my friends, but I'm very sadly home now. However, I have just come home to some parcels, which I thought I would take you through. I'm annoyed, I've actually missed one parcel which is from the gel bottle and I have some really nice autumnal colours that I ordered so I think you'll see those in the next vlog. Oh my god my hair, I need, your girl needs a hair wash and a rejig and just DLC again. Still, it's the theme of this month, the thing that I'm not giving myself that I really really need. But I have one parcel in particular that I'm very excited about. So. Not me and Amelia losing our shiz over the Ralph Lauren bear. It's very cute. TikTok got us. I've been seeing the Ralph Lauren bear jumpers everywhere. I love them. Like the proper knitted ones. I love the, they do it like a jersey sweater kind as well, which are really, really sweet. But I fell in love with this jumper and it's just a really nice chic Christmas, but not Christmassy jumper, but it's a little bit Christmassy, but like, I was just like, oh my God, need this. I am so excited for Christmas this year. I, <laughs> like lots of you will know, I haven't been excited for Christmas for a very long time. The lockdown Christmases, they were not giving what we wanted them to give, to use that very annoying phrase that I use all the time. And then we started coming out of lockdown and then, that things were very up in the air in terms of like family and then my brother was moving to Liverpool so now I don't have a sibling down here and I just I love as I've grown older I've loved like the real family Christmases and it's just not the same without your sibling or siblings of some kind I don't, it doesn't have to be my sibling I think I just like the combination of like the grown-ups but then the kids and we're still the kids in my families in our in both of our families my but both mine and Ryan were still the kids which I still love I don't think I'll ever think of myself in my brain as a grown-up I'll still will still always be the kids and then we'll have our babies <laughs> this year we are kind of spending Christmas very together we're still bouncing between two houses but it feels much more I don't know just it's, it's gonna feel good this year like the dynamics are good like we've got some siblings and I'm just really really looking forward to it I like actually am like fully excited for Christmas like when I think about it I'm like 
like I want to just make weird weird noises so I'm excited to the point where I actually bought myself an advent calendar this year shrimpy has one as well it's a hard life isn't it babe she doesn't really understand the concept of an advent calendar but she still enjoys them you know so she loves the treats so we all have an advent calendar each anyway I'm excited for Christmas to the point where I bought myself a Christmas jumper <laughs> I haven't actually properly looked at it. I literally unpacked um, it whilst I was talking to you and didn't actually look at it, but I'm obsessed. Look, it's basically the Christmas version of me and Shrimpy. I love it. Oh my God, it's so nice. This is it's such a nice knit as well. Like it's kind of like a brown. Well, these are, these are extortionate. I, I don't, no one needs to tell me. These are extortionate, but it's so nice and it just feels so nice and it just looks so nice and i like it as like a very niche christmas jumper like this will never not feel christmassy now all i need now is a ralph lauren bear like an actual teddy bear ow oh, i just scratched a spot on my head oh don't you just hate when you do that oh my god i had dairy in paris <laughs> which is a bad idea my skin is so bad so all i have on is spf today and it's not so bad like i we all know i've had worse but like i'm starting to see the the bumps coming on up and i'm not looking forward to what is going to happen to my skin over the next couple of weeks slash month as a result of one two days of dairy by the way i didn't even have that much just literally the butter on the bread i didn't even eat that burrata i didn't eat that anyway look at how cute Oh my god. I mean, not with my Adenola tracksuit bombs, but oh my gosh. It could just be really nice with like wide leg trousers, a pair of jeans. You are so adorable. Wow. I like the fit as well. I got this in a medium. I didn't want it to be too much of a regular fit, although it would be really nice if you were wearing wide leg trousers if it was more fitted but i just didn't want too much around the boobs and the medium fits really nicely across the chest oh my god it's just so cute oh my gosh i love him i'm obsessed je suis obsessed anyway i also picked up some shoes let me change my camera battery and i'll be back with you i'm back so i also had an asos order arrive i picked up a few pairs of new shoes off of asos i got some heels and i thought you might like to see them because they're kind of a little bit festive so i basically just have loads of christmas events coming up and there were a couple of gaps in my well there's many gaps in my shoe wardrobe in terms of like events i actually really struggle a lot of the time when i'm picking shoes i've actually been needing a lot more court shoe shaped court toe court shoe style shoes i've been finding that when it comes to winter i just have loads of very open more spring summer appropriate shoes so i wanted to go for some styles that could kind of lend themselves a bit more to winter and i just thought these were amazing the red is so nice in terms of like it's festive but then the florals kind of make them a bit more like all year round and I just love them. They're very Magda Butram, but they are like a fraction of the price. They also come in black and they're currently sold out and I am refreshing the page every single day. But I think these have actually gone, in, gone into the Black Friday sale. So my chances of getting the black, so slim. But if you do want to get your hands on these and if there are any pairs left by the time this video goes live in a couple of days, then I would recommend. They're gorgeous. I love them. They're just such a fun shoe as well. And I also got this pair of shoes which are more of a i actually could get wear out of these all year round i'll probably get more wear out of them spring summer on a normal year but for me over the next year i'll get a lot of wear out of these anyway and again very magda butram with the flowers i just think they're so pretty they've got a nice little crisscross ankle strap the only thing i feel like is letting it down is this buckle don't love that but other than that i think they're really really nice and i love the square toe it makes them look very modern and they're just really really pretty and depending on some of my Christmassy outfits these could lend themselves really nicely like if you're wearing sequins but not like a black sequin like a lighter sequin white shoes will go really nicely and yeah I just think the flowers like a really sweet detail and it makes an outfit a little bit more interesting and yeah very Magda Butram but at a fraction of the price so love those so that is my little shoe haul but other than that that is it for me this week i need to go and lie down and recuperate from too much fun also 
It's so cold now, so I am smothering my lips in Vaseline. The weather has suddenly gone from like normal to winter in 0.5 seconds, so my skin is dry. Dry. Anyway, me and my Christmas jumper are gonna go and recuperate from too much fun. We're gonna cuddle this one. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. I hope you love this vlog as much as I loved this vlog. Me and Amelia screaming. <laughs> nothing, nothing will ever be funnier. I actually think this vlog might be my favorite vlog that will ever, apart from my engagement vlog, that will ever exist on my channel. D just, you can't top it. That, <laughs> even just that moment alone, you can't top that. I'm so glad that was caught on camera. That was just too much. But I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Love you, bye.